What's up guys, P1 Grinder here, or better known start the day, I'm going to show you guys the best method to do with a, a friend. Um, so yeah, obviously I'm going to show you the steps you've got to do first, my strategy of doing it. I am like almost done, but I'm going to explain why I haven't done it yet. But obviously, um, task one, create a connection. So here we're kind of wanting to make a new account, a brand new account. And we're going to do the Xbox um play method um if you haven't got an account i advise you to go make one else um put the link in the description for where you should go or i'll show a picture right now of the website but basically all you gotta do is make sure you have the xbox app on your phone create a brand new account and then what you want to do is with that new account you've just created log into fortnite and make sure that account adds your account, your main one. And then basically from that, you can create a connection. If the, if the new account you've just made isn't showing up, restart the website and restart the Fortnite. Because a lot of people I know has been having the same issue. But obviously, what you're having to do is, when you log into the site, your main account has to refer that one. Because obviously the new account you create can't refer your main one because you played more than two hours. And plus we don't really want that to happen anyway. But after you've made a new account, you've uh, added each other, create the connection, which step one will be done. Then step two, play a game with the uh, account. So basically with, the, with these methods, I recommend using a device or like use a phone or a pc something that you're not going to really use because you will have to keep the account in game for the full game you can't back out you can't close the app you've got to keep the account in for the full game so task two or the you know task two you've got to play one game which is simple and easy you're going to get bot lobbies until you're level 13 or 16 it can change so task two play one game task three you've got to get top uh top 10 no yeah top 10 six times pretty easy eliminate opponents that's pretty easy like i said you've got to keep the bot account in your games you've got to make sure that once in a while you check your phone or whatever device you've got on and make sure you move it around or put all one on because if it detects that you're not active it will boot you out and when it boots you out the progress you've just made in that game will not count so please keep in mind, when you're doing these challenges, make sure the bot account is active, moving around, or at least make sure you're not getting a, going to get kicked out by the Xbox inactive app slash website. So yeah, task four, pretty easy. Task five, luckily, luckily enough, this doesn't end till I think next year in January. So we've got pretty much a lot of time. So as you see, me and the bot account, I've got 22 levels. And it's got 20 levels. Basically, I would recommend getting your bot account levels up first. Because, uh, obviously, when that's getting leveled up, you can always go back to your account and play with that account in it. Like, you can legit do a whole... It's, it's, it's funny, but you can legit do your main account, that bot account. When that bot account reaches a certain level and then it gets real players, you can make a third account if you're able to get that third device put it in and then let your two accounts load in and then that bot account that third bot account you can basically quit the game so it doesn't gain levels and basically you can do whatever you want but the rec i recommend doing um your second account first make sure you're doing your challenges your uh, milestones dailies also keep in mind you are allowed to play creative when you're on task five so if you want to play a creative map, if like say if you know XP, like a good XP gain map, or AFK map, <laughs> you can basically go on that, and as long as you and that account is in the lobby, you're both gonna gain levels, and it counts. Um, so yeah, I'll um do a little tutorial on uh how we do it. So yeah. Right, so basically I'm on iOS. This is what this is what the site will look like, the app when you load in. P keep in mind this is not the account I am using. This will be like the third bot account. But basically after you're logged in, all you've got to do is press Fortnite. 
go into cloud game and play. And this is what I mean. If you're not active, you will get a warning sign, so keep that in mind. Also, this is, um, like, when you're first doing the sign-up process, make sure that you're adding the accounts first. Um, and then when you've done that, go onto your main account on the Fortnite with a friend and then add that second account. And when that connection's come through, restart your game. And then if you get that, I think... Um, is it an icon? No icon emote? If you get that, then you know you've done it. But please keep in mind, try not, basically try not to level up your account. Don't throw with the bot account and your main account, obviously. Try not to do challenges. Just try not to do challenges. Actually, no, 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 sorry. You can. But just try and hold off because usually you kind of want to keep the XP till task 5. So... So while you're going up to task five, if you've got like um like a boost, make sure you get that done before task five and then do your challenges and then simple. But yeah, obviously, like you see here, I've got my account added and it would show up. Um but pretty much that's the basically the tutorial. If you got stuck, you can always um comment down below or if you need help on making that third bot account or just help in general um basically you can just comment down below or send me a message on xbox and i'll help you out if you need account that will be efk and can help with this method so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and peace out